Hey everybody, Charlie here, and thanks for Assembling on Us. In episodes two and three of Assemble on Us, we talked about weapons safety and a little bit about um, the semi-automatic pistols, revolvers. And I made a mistake of taking something for granted that everyone would know, or you know, just not thinking about it, get used to teaching something, no one here to ask questions. I'm talking to this camera. Um, but one of our viewers, uh, Super Crafty Ashley, a tremendous supporter of Assemble on Us and a true inspiration, saved my life one time, shot up pretty bad. She drove me off the beachhead, patched me up, carried me. 28 miles to safety. Appreciate that, super crafty. But uh, her question was, how do I make the slide on the pistol lock bag? You just said lock the slide to the rear, and you didn't explain that any further, dumbass. Fair enough. Uh, with that in mind, we're going to head over to the workbench, and I'm going to explain some basic nomenclature and... Um, um, ways that a semi-automatic pistol works and some of the control mechanisms on the outside of a pistol. So let's go take a look. So here is the Glock 19 semi-automatic pistol. Different pistols will have slightly different configurations of safeties or different external uh, operating features. But once you get familiar with how a pistol works, you can kind of figure out how other pistols are designed to operate. But it's real important to refer to your owner's manual, your operating manual, so that you do everything properly and safe, safely. So in this case, what we have here is this button right here is the magazine release button. When we depress that, it will allow the magazine, where we have our ammo, to drop free of the magazine well. So again, it's magazine release button, normally located right in this area for your thumb to depress so that the magazine will come out of the magazine well. And to answer Super Ashley, Super Crafty Ashley's question, this lever right here is the slide lock lever. So once we pull the slide, the part that moves back and forth, we'll pull that to the rear and then we'll push the slide lock lever up into this notch and that will lock this slide to the rear and allow us to visually and physically inspect the weapon to be clear. So what I'll do now is depress the magazine release button with my thumb, which is the way it's designed to operate. Your thumb will rest right in here in this little channel. Then I'm ready to depress or release the magazine. I just depress the button and it allows the magazine to pop free and that magazine is empty. So what I want to do real quick is just drop a inert training round, a dummy round, into the magazine and show you what it would look like with show you what it would look like with a round in the magazine. And there again is our clear magazine. So once I've got the ammunition source once I've got the ammunition source out of the weapon I'll grab a hold of the slide here on these grooves and pull this to the rear and then engage my slide lock lever which will allow me to visually and physically inspect that the chamber is clear and the chamber it's always really hard to see but there's the empty chamber just like that and then what I can do is take my dummy round and insert that down into the chamber. And there you can see what that chamber would look like with a round in it. So we'll drop that back out. And then we'll visually and physically inspect again that... that the weapon is clear which we have done. And now that we know it's clear, I wanted to go back, I wanted to go back and address one other uh, external feature of the weapon which is the trigger safety right here. I'm going to go ahead and let the slide go forward by releasing the slide 
lock lever just by pushing down on it lets the slide go forward and then I want to address this trigger safety right here it's the only external safety that this weapon has besides your brain which is by far the best safety to have but the weapon can't fire if pressure is exerted to the side of the trigger what has to happen is the trigger finger makes contact with the safety right there and then as it rotates you can see that this part of the safety rotates up allowing it to disappear inside of the weapon as you're pressing the trigger to the rear so that's the external safety on this weapon other weapons will have safeties up in here where you would engage with your thumb to lock it into place and then have to disengage that as you're drawing and preparing to fire but again just consult your owner's manuals um, to find out about the different features on whatever pistol, semi-automatic, revolver, whatever weapon that you may be carrying. Just figure out how to operate it safely. And that will do it from the workbench. So let's head on back over to the studio. All right, that'll do it. Uh, that was one pistol, the Glock 19. There are, of course, many other uh, pistol types, variations of control mechanisms. But, you know, once you understand how one or two operate, you can basically figure out anything that you pick up. Um, how to get it up and running into operation, how to load, reload, clear malfunctions, uh, operate the safety, lock the slide to the rear, disassembly. Um, so, you know, get an owner's manual, take a look at those, they can be very helpful. But get out there, practice, train, look at these things, take them apart, but always do so in a safe manner. Clear the weapon, make sure it's clear twice before you start. Um, doing anything with the weapon and then still treat it as though it were loaded. As always, seek qualified instruction, professional instruction, Rally Point LLC, or from a service provider near you. And I hope you learned something. And again, a good shout out to Super Crafty Ashley. She does a lot of really good resin works, makes some really cool um, different items made me some really really cool things over the years so check her out I believe if you go into my YouTube channel uh, I've liked her channel so you can get in there and check out what she does so she's very cool and a good survivalist someone I'd want to have on my side if things were to go pear-shaped so this is Charlie thanking you for joining us for another episode of Assemble on Us as always stay safe and train hard and we will see you next time I am out of here